This is Deborah Yaw with Black Education TV. There seems to be a lot of worshiping going on, but not enough worshiping of the Most High. We as a people have begun to worship who we are as a people or as a nation. We're more excited about finding our true identity and therefore we begin to worship that identity to the point where we're willing to separate ourselves from our father, divide ourselves from our people, and create all kinds of division because we don't all hold the same thoughts or have the same ideology about things or we don't all believe the same things. We have varying doctrines that we adhere to. And so the worship of our culture and who we are as a people has become more important to us because the scripture tells the, tells us, the Most High tells us that we love him to keep his commandments. And his commandments are very simple. One of them is to love your neighbor as yourself. But what we have done, we have fulfilled the prophecy, prophecy. We have fulfilled the prophecy that says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And so right now what you have is a lot of hatred and um, vile language and violent language. You know, people wanting you to die because you don't believe what they believe. People wanting judgment to come upon you because you believe a different way than they do. I mean, it's very harsh things um, coming from the so-called children of promise. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We have begun to worship our own selves. We're so excited. We dress up this flesh. We wrap our heads um, for the men. You put on your garments and your fringes and you wear all of these things to dress up that so-called Hebrew Israelite. You dress that person up, but you are not dressing up the spiritual man. And your heart is filled with dead men's bones and ashes. You have no recollection of the truth because you have departed from the true and living Elohim to worship your own self. Right now, it is time for us as a people to repent of our wicked deeds and turn back to Abba Yah because all of this foolishness we see among our people whether you are a person who knows that you're an Israelite or a Muslim or a Christian or just simply an atheist, if we continue in this path, we're going to continue to see the chastisement of Yah upon us as a whole. I thank Yah for the remnant, though, because the remnant will be saved according to grace. The remnant will adhere to Yah's word. The remnant will love their brothers and sisters, and the remnant will be taken out of here to the marriage supper of the Lamb. If you're not familiar with the marriage supper of the Lamb, we did a lesson on that on Watch Me Reports channel, in which the scripture talks about the marriage supper of the Lamb. Are you going to be ready for the marriage supper of the Lamb? See, because we are more in tune with our human nature, in which I've talked about that before, we are not in tune with our divine nature. So we will justify the deeds that we do that are against the Most High, that are against Torah. We justify those things. We feel that we have a right to do these things. And some of us even pull scriptures and apply them where they do not apply. That's the problem. Everyone wants to be the teacher, but they don't want to be taught. The scripture says where you have need, where you should be teachers, it says you have a need for milk because you can't take the strong meat. And this is because we have become so self-absorbed to where only what we want, feel, and desire matters. The scripture said that we would begin to worship the creature more than the creator. And that creature can include your own self. Your God has become your own belly. What desires you want, you seek to meet those desires. The thing that you lust after, that's the thing that you seek to have dominance in your life. And so we, we are so in tune with the traditions of man that when the truth comes, we cannot accept it because our hearts have been hardened against the truth. This is why the Most High said he is going to have to purge out the rebels from among his people. Our people have established their own righteousness. They have imagined in their hearts 
what they feel to be righteous and what they feel to be holy. And they are separating themselves from the righteousness of the Most High Yah. Well, family, we have got to get out of ourselves, get out of our flesh, and find ourselves hidden in Yahushua HaMashiach. The scripture says, put ye on Yahushua HaMashiach. Put him on like a garment. Wear him like a garment. Then you won't have any need to please your flesh. Don't get so caught up in these earthly things and these earthly titles and these, these earthly fights and these fleshly fights to where you step out of the will of the Father. If we understand the judgments and the chastisement of Yah, we wouldn't do half the things that we do. Or should I say most of the things that we do? You know, the scripture does talk about how some things our people are going to do is going to seem right in our eyes, but it's not. It also says there is a way which seems right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death and destruction. The problem is we believe that we are defending the faith when we defend a title. Kind of like the Christians, they felt like they were defending the faith and made all kinds of declarations that if you do not come to church, then you have denounced God or left God, as they call him. And see, now we coming over into the truth of who we are, we are doing the same thing. We believe that our identity is more important than the identity of the Most High Yah. This is why the scripture says, if my people which are called by my name, you see, it's more important that we are labeled among those that are believers in the Most High Yah. It doesn't matter what we call ourselves. As a matter of fact, back in the day, our people weren't going around calling themselves anything except who they were. Like Shaul, he said, I am Shaul of the tribe of Benjamin. You see, we didn't need to go around Declaring who we were, but declaring who our father is. He says, make his name great in the land. But we're trying to make Hebrew Israelite uh, great in the land. That title. Since when is the term Hebrew Israelite synonymous with Yahuwah? His name is to make, be made great. He says, if I be lifted up in the earth, I will draw all men unto me. He didn't say if Hebrew Israelite be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. So we have to get these things straight in our minds, people. Get them straight in our hearts. Get an understanding. The scripture says in all thy getting, get understanding. Because of these misunderstandings, the world looks at us and looks at the folly that is upon us. What's amazing in all this is we've had a number of people reach out to us. Thank Abiyah for those who understand and understood where we were coming from. In the midst of all of that, we had a Gentile reach out to us. And some of you saw the message. And this Gentile reached out and said these words. He says, a lot of people would fold under the, under the pressure of what you're going through right now, Deboriah. But he says, I want you to understand something. There are actually more people for you than against you. So don't let this take you from the mission that the Most High has given you. This is what a, a white Gentile male said to me on Facebook. And so I received that. Because as we have said so many times, the world is watching us. Although they all may not speak out and say things or poke their face in. He even said, I don't know if this means anything coming, to, coming from a white man. Okay. But I wanted to acknowledge that it just proved to me that everyone is watching. We had people reach out to us from Australia, from South Africa, from Nigeria, from the Netherlands. I mean, people all over are paying attention to what is going on among the tribe of Judah or Yehuda. People all over. And so to our family in Africa, to our family in Australia, New Zealand, wherever you may be, we salute you and we say, thank you. Thank you for your support. We love you, family. We may not be from the same tribe, but we love you. Uh, my sister Alice over in Africa, we love you. We see you from time to time. You come in the chat room and you post 
on our videos, my husband's channel and my channel and my son's channel as well. We love you. We love our family all over the world. And I make no apologies for loving my people, even those who have rubbed me the wrong way. Even those who have rubbed me the wrong way, those who, um, for, for, from what I can see, don't even like me. I mean, there are people who have never even met me who just don't like me, especially a lot of the brothers. But that's okay. That's okay. At the end of the day, the Most High is going to straighten all of us out. He's going to plant our feet where it should be in righteousness. He's going to purge out all of this unrighteousness from among us. You know how the scripture says, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. That's what you should pray. If you feel yourself despising your brothers or your sisters, ask the most high to create in you a clean heart because it's not righteous for you to hate or despise your brothers or sisters. You see, even Jediah, I don't have any hate for that brother. I wish that he would repent. I wish that his wife would repent. I don't have any hate for her either. But repentance is the only thing that's going to help any of us in this day and time. I don't need to repent for denouncing the term Hebrew Israelite. You repent for your sins. That's not something to repent of because that is not a sin. Because that is not who we are. That is not who we were. So I thank the Most High for the understanding of his word. To the point where I know we don't need to label ourselves. We just need to be followers of the Most High. We need to be obedient to his word. We need to stand for what is right. And we need to reprove the works of darkness. Where is all the reproof for all of the works of darkness that we see among our people? Now, I do see some standing against this, and this is the stand that we are taking. This is why we decided to draw the line of separation, because we as a people have got to get it together. This is a mandate from the Most High Yah that we repent. This is why he said, if my people, which are called by my name, we have got to repent as a nation of people. Although we know that the scripture has already said that only a remnant is going to be saved, we still have to cry out to our people in hopes that one more can be added to the remnant. Two more can be added to the remnant. Ten more, a hundred, a thousand can be added to the remnant. That is what we are looking for. We are hoping that what we put out, what messages we put out will cause people to think and to repent. You can call it what you will. A lot of people have their own ideas of what it is we're doing. But this is what I want to leave you with. Ye shall know the tree by the fruit that it bears. A good tree cannot bring forth bad fruit. And a bad tree cannot bring forth good fruit. So keep that in mind as you analyze the things that you hear. And always remember to study to show yourself approved. Never take anyone's word for anything. Study to show yourself approved approved that this is what the word says and to work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling and with that i will say i love you family and shalom